Good afternoon. Fear makes us do crazy things. Anger makes us do crazy things. They freeze our brain into an emotional reaction that prevents us from being able to think clearly. In fact, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between fear and anger. So before we go on, I'd like you to think for yourself, what are some things that you are afraid of? I'm not talking about scary movies or spiders, but what are you things that you are afraid of that might threaten you? And at the same time, what are some things that anger you? I'm not talking about the person who took your parking spot, but once again, what are some things that you are angry about because you feel like they're out to get you? It seems to me as though our world is caught up in all sorts of fear and anger right now. And I think we're seeing a lot of poor choices being made as a result. Now, in many cases, it's perfectly understandable. If I would put myself in the place of some people who are acting out of fear and anger, I would probably do the exact same thing. But let's think for a moment about the two biggest issues that are rocking our nation right now. First continues to be the pandemic. Some people are acting out of fear, fear that they might get the disease, they might die from it, and this fear leads them to isolate themselves even to the point that they will not risk doing things that are perfectly safe. On the other hand, other people are afraid or maybe even angry about what they perceive to be overreaching authority, ordering them what to do, telling them what they have to do. The second issue that is rocking our nation is the movement for racial justice. And again, we see people acting out of anger. For some, it is pent up rage and frustration from years of having experienced racism in so many different ways. And this anger may lead them to act in ways that, well, to put it mildly, are not very positive and certainly won't promote good change. Uh, it leads to senseless destruction that solves nothing and hurts other people. In fact, often it hurts people who have nothing to do with the issue that they're angry about. And on the other hand, some people are responding to this movement for racial justice out of fear. Yes, for some, it is fear about the violence that they see in the news. At some level, that fear is perfectly reasonable and understandable. But fear can lead us to take something that is reasonable and understandable and blow it out of proportion, even to the point that even peaceful events are seen as a threat and as menacing. And this fear of violence can deflect us from thinking about the issue itself and talking about violence instead of racism. I'm curious though, if for at least some people, when they say that they're afraid or angry about the violence that the demonstrations are causing, that might be masking a deeper fear, a fear of letting the issue of racism even be talked about at all. There's another problem with acting out of fear and anger. When you do so, you are instilling fear and anger in the people around you. For example, I had a phone call this morning with a very angry person and I'm still feeling agitated from it. Fear and anger will only lead other people to act out of fear and anger, which only multiplies the problem. Now, there is a place in our evolutionary background for having these quick reactions based on fear and anger. It could save your life. But in most cases in our world today, acting out of fear and anger is not as helpful as it used to be. And in fact, it may get in the way of us being able to think through things and make wise decisions. As I was thinking about fear and anger, Isaiah chapter 12, verse two came to mind. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. So as you confront fear or anger, and as you feel emotions like these start to take over your brain and your decision-making power, I urge you to recall this message. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. 
may his strength, may his defense, may his salvation be what brings us peace. And may we rest in God and in God alone. May we come to God with our fears, with our anger, and place them in his care, seeking his peace and his guidance. Would you pray with me, please? Lord, we continue to lift up our nation and, in fact, our world as we continue to experience pandemic and uh, movements for racial justice. In particular, we lift up those who are acting or reacting out of fear and anger, whether it is justified or not. And we ask, Lord, for them, but especially for ourselves, that we would find our rest in you, that we would trust in you, in your strength, in your salvation, and that as we place ourselves in your loving, caring hands, we, we will be able to act and speak wisely as the people you call us to be in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Look forward to, look forward to talking with you again on Wednesday.